There are five simple steps covered in this video which show how to start trading with PaymentSense online payments. Live Gateway Email PaymentSense creates a live gateway using the merchant account provided by one of our partner banks. Within 24 hours of the bank approving the account, merchants receive this email, which includes the gateway ID and instructions on logging into MMS, which will be shown in the next step. Gateway details. Log into the MMS to obtain the three details required for setting up website payments. Navigate to Gateway Account Admin for the Gateway ID and Gateway Password. The Gateway ID is six letters and seven numbers. For security, the merchant is required to create a Gateway Password including letters and numbers also. This is a different password to the one used to log into the MMS. The third detail required is under Account Settings and is called the Pre-Shared Key. The merchant should ensure they copy all characters in this field. At this point, it is recommended that the merchant process a small test transaction within Merchant Management System to test the account is working correctly. Please watch the How to Process a Transaction video for support in doing this. Enable Payment Sense. This third step shows a WooCommerce shopping cart on a WordPress site. WooCommerce is one of the most popular shopping carts for small businesses, which is why we have shown this example. Here we are installing the Payment Sense plugin for the hosted payment page. For other methods and other shopping carts, the process may be different. Activating or enabling the plugin completes the install. This step is normally handled by a web developer. Add gateway details. A merchant or developer can check gateway details are correct using our checker tool shown here on screen. To access this checker, you can find the link on developers.paymentsense.com. Simply enter the three details, which were shown in step two, and if a successful order page is shown, the details are correct. Going back to the WooCommerce shopping cart, enter the three gateway details on the configuration page as shown on screen. This tells the website which Payment Sense account to connect with. Ensure to save details to complete. Testing the website. Now the setup is done, it's best to test it by carrying out a purchase on the website, just like a customer would. On the test web shop shown here, we are placing an item into the cart, checking out and entering card details. The order was received, so the setup has worked. If there are any errors or issues at this stage, they will be handled by the web developer or by contacting PaymentSense customer service via the email address shown. Finally, it's best to check the order appears in the shopping cart, as shown here on screen. And in the MMS as a successful payment under transaction history.